It is hard. Very hard. Allegedly. Streaming, that is. So we're going to check out this video. It's called Streaming is Hard, VTuber. Okay. <laughs> what a title. It's only an 11 minute video. We're going to check it out, see what's going on, what the crack is. Oh, uh, heads up, lots of scuffed audio here. Okay, yeah. Loud gamer, apparently. Hopefully, this is a video worth uploading. <laughs> I did a reaction video not too long ago, and uh, I kind of, kind of didn't like it. So they're complaining that they're not funny. My personal opinion is that labs definitely help because, like this, we're constantly. What do you say? Laughs? Labs? Laughs? When it's just, hey, I have one or two viewers. If those one or two viewers aren't talking, it's kind of hard to yeah, have a conversation really with yourself. Dude, the thing is, I love just. If you find it difficult to talk to yourself. I don't know where I'm going with this, but. If you can't talk to yourself, then it means you clearly not. You, you, it means you clearly don't have a mental illness to be doing streaming. Because <laughs> everybody who's a content creator, there's something wrong with them mentally. There's something wrong with me, man. Why am I doing this? Chatting because like I love yapping, but it's so okay. hard when there's nobody yapping back to you. It's hard because yeah, it's just like if that what game is this? Because you can, you can obviously see them in your chat and all that. Somebody let me know in the comment section what game them, this is. And you're talking about your day and they don't say anything. You're just like, okay, this is boring. Like <laughs> even if you don't think it is and you don't know what they're actually thinking, you're just thinking that in the back of your mind. That if you have five people in your chat when you're when you're live streaming and then you say to them. So, that weather, huh? <laughs> How was your day? Like, obviously, you know. One person's interacting. Don't do that. Then it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> or if you have, you know, 25 viewers and five of them are interacting, you can at least bounce off of them. So it's like, oh, here's what's happened with my day. And now five people are like, oh, wow, that's so interesting. T tell me more. Now you can keep talking about it but if one person's sitting in your stream and not interacting back with you you're just sitting there like okay well what else do i talk about now because either that's not important or i ran out of stuff to talk about <laughs> so, yeah that's the thing it's like i don't have from what i remember doki bird she always has like notes she like she takes down notes of like conversational topics things to talk about before she does the live streams why don't, why don't people just do that you know or uh, just get used to recording yourself talking to yourself doing just just this solo stuff you know and then maybe use that as a way to improve how you stream if if you have like an audience that's not responding to you, any of your comments and questions and if, if they're not going to respond then just yap to yourself and just entertain yourself if you you know <laughs> laugh at your own jokes or something i don't know a lot of like shorts and stuff. If you like yapping, just yap away. Childhood, and I'm like, I don't have that. <laughs> Same. So I do thankfully have one friend who is huge on VTubers, but they make the exception for me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The thing is, a lot of my friends that used to do content creation have retired or are playing Black Desert online, so they don't have time to watch other streams. So it's mm. like a lot of my early streams have a lot the of The deep like, delve into a current. Them. Hobby. But ultimately, I can't. You can't rely on those people to always. Oh, interest. To you, so you kind of have to make your own fun too. You know. Yeah, I mean, for my part, I know a lot of people that watch me tend to watch me as background noise, which is. That's a man. That, that is like the kind of vibe. I'm just like a comfy. You know, chilling, playing a game, so it's good background noise, kind of like ASMR, mm -hmm. and I get that. So, sort of like forcing myself to continue doing things through the part. Whoever has a ring, whoever has a setup like this for a VTuber model. They must be balling. <laughs> they must be balling. Because <laughs> I got a hand-me-down. <laughs> I got a hand-me-down from my older sibling. It's like a, a it's like a small ring light that you can get dead cheap for like probably like a couple quid off of Amazon with the phone like clip thing attachment, whatever, and you just clip it to the table. But that's like a that's like a 20 30 pound ring light. So without it, you know it definitely probably without the stand practice but i'm with you that like if you're able and the to phone attachment chat and you feel like it like definitely do because it does help a lot like a lot more than people realize my thing is like i've done sales for five plus years so usually i'm looking for some kind of feedback mm -hmm. and yeah. if i'm not getting any sort of feedback i'm like okay in the back of my mind sales has taught me like no feedback equals 
there kind of just staring at you like, uh, what are you talking about? Don't say that shit. And so I'm just like sitting there going, uh, okay, next topic. Um, wait, I don't have a next topic. What do I talk about now? But yeah, no, I definitely, I definitely get that because it's like, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's taboo or if it's just not super common to like ask like, hey chat, can y'all give me like a performance review? But like, <laughs> like you don't you don't really get that immediate like unfiltered feedback. So I def I definitely. I that. wish that people would be like, you suck, so I could at least be like. I think this is probably just like a small content creator issue, because or just a new content creator maybe. Because I'd. I... I've, I've said this in some videos as well myself, and it's like, yeah, I'm not getting any feedback, so... There must be something okay with it. <laughs> I'm just carrying with how it is. <laughs> or like, there's sometimes when I'll see like a dislike on a video, it's like, well, at least leave a comment saying what was wrong with it, so that I can improve on it, you know? Like, okay, cool. I have unironically I considered, and I may actually do it like this month, um, making a Google form and having people fill out what I'm good and bad at. Cause like, I would That's love to idea. know, like, you like my just chatting streams? Cause like, <laughs> y'all will chat during them, but like, I have people who are sitting there and they're lurking. Right, well, and to be and... clear, there's nothing wrong with lurking either, like, that's what I was getting at. Oh earlier. yeah, 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 lurking yeah. is But fun. like, I, I, I don't know, I, I think there's definitely benefit to like, seeing people talk and being like, oh, okay, that means that this is an interesting topic that people are into, but you know, you can't force people to do that, so that's what the Google form yeah. is for. <laughs> it's one of those things where I kind of want to do the same as you, Ezra, because again, I work sales, and any feedback is good sales? feedback What's that? in a sense, unless you're just being a dick. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're just being a dick, you're just being a dick. But if you're like, hey, uh, Ezra, you know, it wasn't as entertaining when you talked about this subject, to me at least, you know, try to avoid that. Oh, hey, that helps me out with knowing what people are interested in the future. But nobody's saying anything. It's kind of like, well, okay, let me just keep rambling, I guess. But if nobody likes what I'm talking about, well, I don't know if this is interesting or not. So Right, and then some people may say, and, and it makes sense because like intuitively you would think so. You can just look at like, okay, well, which streams got the most viewers? But that's not wholly accurate either because... The algorithm is infinite and unknowable. Exactly. The thing is, like, I feel like it's unknowable for Twitch, and I don't mean that, like, in a Twitch is shit way. I think that, like, Twitch's algorithm is what it is. But, like, I feel like YouTube, there's ways to game it, yes, but you just have yeah, to be no. clever about it. Well, from what I know, and from what I know about this, is so YouTube actually has an algorithm to try and push out the content, right? Whereas for Twitch, it's you go live and then that's it, you know, <laughs> like you could go on Twitch and you can, you can just, you can, you can go through all the filters, whatever. And it'll be like hundreds of thousands of people, like zero viewer Andes. And then it's just the top. And you, the only, the only people that you see on Twitch when it like does recommend you someone is who is at the top? Who are you following? And then who does the person you're following follow? And then that's it. You don't see anyone else. There's no actual, like it doesn't, Twitch doesn't have something to help push smaller streamers or zero Andy streamers, you know? Whereas YouTube, it has that, but the algorithms, the, it has a, it has a, it has an algorithm, but it doesn't, it kind of does, it kind of doesn't work. I don't know. It's, it's complicated for my stupid brain. <laughs> Well, for sure, but what I'm saying is, like, people may click on a stream... But that's what it is between Twitch and YouTube, anyways. YouTube has an algorithm to help, to try to help, and then Twitch doesn't have anything to help. the streams you do, that's the one you should always be focusing exactly. on. And the issue is, too, like, even if you go to your average... But then again, then again, Twitch is very dedicated to streaming itself, whereas YouTube is trying to... YouTube is so stupid, okay, like, 2014 YouTube was great, and then 2016 comes around and it's like, oh, let's just secretly implement this... Uh, watch time system because we want to be more like t like you know more like television for advertisement. Oh, Netflix is popping off. We want to be more like Netflix. Oh, what's that? Instagram's doing reels. We want to be like Instagram doing reels. Oh, the reels are terrible. They're really bad. Nobody likes them. Let's just get rid of that and then let's just replace it with something else. Oh, TikTok, TikTok, TikTok's popping off. So we're gonna have our own version of TikTok and do YouTube Shorts. Google is Google and all these other like big 
big corpos and you know the American government they don't like that China has a larger investment than they do in TikTok so we're going to either try to take over TikTok or just completely get rid of it so because of that we're going to make YouTube shorts the new TikTok <laughs> like come on just I don't know it's so stupid it doesn't exactly with its, tell you with like what it's aiming for it doesn't it doesn't even know what it's aiming for it just wants a bit of anything and everything that, that works at the time for a different company right you know okay uh, they wash for you know the entire time meanwhile there's 20 other people that got bored in the first five minutes or so i, I know how to check myself and be like this is probably too heavy of a topic and that's my entire life so i'm not going to talk about that <laughs> i just end up kind of being a little bit quiet for the most part except hey here's what i'm doing in the game but if I'm doing like a prologue speed run of your near automata, at some point I don't know Good game, if by the way. news joining or not. So what do I say? That is super true. I feel like especially with a speedrunning focus, that gets a lot harder because the entire content for the most part, for most speedrunners, I would say is like the commentary regarding yeah, the game yeah, and you're... what's going on in it. I mean the thing with speedrunning is like yeah. if you're good at the game, it kind of falls under the category of being good at the game. People are there because you're good at the game. Yeah, they're nobody wants to see you yap if you're a speedrunner. Just play the damn game. You Beat your record. Just play the game. Like I can yap about anything else because Dragon Guard is not a very interesting game. To right. Watch. But like for yeah, my part, exactly. one of the big challenges I have is I'm like a predominantly an RPG speedrunner, and those are like really long streams. There's a lot of like downtime, I suppose. So the hardest part is like filling that gap. With speedruns, you definitely do have like, okay, here's what I'm doing in the game to fall back on a lot of the time. Where like, you know, there's only so many times I can say. Look at me, I am walking through an open world, going to the next objective. So it also definitely, oh, yeah. like, there's an aspect of what you're doing, the best way to, to manage that, which also right. is hard to figure out. Let's say if I'm doing your Automata, I do that, let's say, four or five times in one stream. How many times do I go over that before I'm tired, or the one viewer that I have that's watched the entire night? has gotten tired of me talking about here's what i'm doing right now that's so, true I if it's a reset heavy game especially yeah i can totally yeah. see that exactly. the thing with so, that is that you have to be used to talking about your day you kind of have to be like okay well this is what's going on in my real life this is what i find interesting like i like to talk about hyper fixations i have like Tsukihime, for instance basically like, i love talking about if somebody asked me about Tsukihime, i would literally die of excitement because I love talking about Tsukihime. If you are mentally Illinois enough to have a hyper fixation, then just talk about them because ultimately then the resetting of prologue or ending A is more of a background noise to what you're actually talking about. And I used to have friends who were very interested. Used to is very uh, yeah, sad sounding, but I used I used to have more people that would show up for these types of streams, uh, but that have retired or that just don't run them anymore. Like for instance, Rod, who is traveling a lot more and doing their real life job. Gross. Um, Imagine used to, jobs. Used to show up a lot, and it's kind of like you have to. Nine to five. You What's that? <laughs> who is running those games? You have to figure out what makes you unique. Versus like Aloyark, who is a top runner and who exactly. doesn't chat a lot, but is like a top runner in the category. What makes you unique to versus Aloyark? And Aloyark still does not get a whole lot of viewers because ultimately speedrunning is a very small niche, especially in near Automata and things like that. Because ultimately you can't be Aloyark. <laughs> you know, and I say yeah. that very fondly of Aloyark because I'm friends with him. He's a very good runner, and I can never ever compete against Got him good legs. because he's just significantly younger than me and has a lot more skill in the game. So what makes me unique? What makes you unique? Versus versus someone like him, you know? Exactly, because I was even watching... I don't know who she is, but she sounds like she's got the answer already to the questions that they're asking. Watching Icarus, who is another very talented uh, near out of my, a run, yeah, uh, yeah, Icarus oh wow, okay, we're yeah. almost at the end of the video already. Like, he only has five viewers. Aliar will get like 20 or so. And it's just one of those things where it's like, well, kind of this So that means he's in like the top 15, 20% of Twitch. Thing, but at the same time, like, that's still better than a lot of the other 
players. I kind of boiled it down to like, for me, for the most part, I'm probably going to keep doing just where the fuck I want to do, which is mostly RPGs and some speedruns and all that. Then maybe every once in a while I'll play a bigger name game. So he's a speedrunning streamer who wants to be variety. Play something like content warning. You should let me know because I would, I would love to play that sort of thing. I was just found out about. Editor here. If you are a streamer or VTuber watching this. Please do not give up on your journey. What matters is making friends and having fun. Being your most authentic self is the first step to growing. Also subscribe to Ezra Andromeda or I will eat your young. Well, that was uh, that was streaming is hard by insert JPEG here <laughs> of person I'm reacting to. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I guess it's just them, I guess this is just a video of them verbally putting out, I don't know, like, are they, are they frustrated because, I don't know, how does this really, because they pretty much answered their questions, like, they started off with, they didn't even say that streaming is hard, they just started off with, like, it's kind of, it's kind of, uh, awkward and hard to be consistent with conversational topics with non-responsive viewers and like not having any viewers or you know just trying to talk about something and then that one you get you get a one guide and they don't want you to talk about something so you don't have anything else to talk about because the thing that you was talking about that they don't want you to talk about was what you're interested in maybe or I don't know like and you have like nothing else to talk about after that I think uh you should just, I think you should just, like the lady in the middle said, if you have like a hyperfixation or something, or if you're interested in something very specific, then I think you should just ignore the person that doesn't want you to talk about it, and just fucking talk about it. Just, just go along with whatever you're interested in, or whatever you're hyperfixated uh, on, or whatever topic is going on at the time that's caught your eye. If people don't want you to talk about it, then... Instead of listening to that, you should just ignore it and just talk about it. If they don't want to hear you talk about it, then they can just leave. <laughs> and if you're worried about them leaving because of it, then well, well, that's, that's on them. You know, you can you can always just get somebody else who will come in. You know, and they'll they'll be interested in you talking about the topic. You know, you don't have to worry too much about specific people wanting to hear something or not hear something. If it's if you're interested in it or not, you know, like am I making sense? I think basically what I'm trying to say is just don't worry about it. Just be yourself. Talk about the things that you want to talk about. And also, if you don't like the awkward silence or if you don't like how you try to talk to someone in your in your stream and they don't respond, just get used to just get used to yapping to yourself and entertain yourself rather than trying to falsely entertain that one person who doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> like if they're just lurking. Or if they're just checking you out or something, like, or if they are entertained and they're not saying anything, just go along with it. Just break through the silence, break through the awkwardness, and just, just, just do your thing, man. <laughs> just do your thing. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is just my input on it, as well as the whole. Because uh, I did add in like the middle of the video with the whole the difference between the algorithms with YouTube and Twitch. But uh, yeah, that's that's this is this is my two senses in my reaction to this video. I've yeah, <laughs> like and subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>